little zigzag. Sometimes my finger a little zigzag right there. That's where we're going this morning. And then up and around those falls. And then up, up, up somewhere else. Good morning, day three. It is a beautiful morning here at Alderson Lake. It's a beautiful morning. Sun is shining, blue skies. I'm going to be quiet because there's still people sleeping. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, I'm really nervous. Um, I've never really been nervous on a backpacking trip before, and for some reason, on this trip, I just can't shake it. I don't know if it's because we're of La Coulette, knowing that that's lots of ridges on shale and it's just getting to me, or if I just have a feeling of foreboarding, or I don't know what it is. Um, could be that my confidence is shaking, given the mishaps on the other trips that I've had this year. Maybe I'm just waiting for something to happen. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm not feeling confident. Um, yeah, I just, I'm a ball of nerves. My stomach is upset because I'm so nervous. And uh, I want to be happy and enjoy this, but at the same time, I'm really nervous. So hopefully that goes away. <laughs> Barb is, uh, her meds have kicked in. <laughs> She's having stomach issues. <laughs> so that's fun for her. Um... We do have a couple bailout points that we could take if we choose not to do this, and it's not like we have to do this, but I'm, I'm hoping that we do, but ultimately I want to be out here and enjoy nature and enjoy what I'm seeing. I don't want to be nervous the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how today goes and uh, kind of go from there. Yeah. All right. <sighs> morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, we're going to go that way. We're going to attempt this. We'll see how we do. Good luck. Good luck to you, too. <laughs> it is 7.35 and we are on the move. We wanted to be on trail around 7, but <laughs> Barb needed to stick around the outhouse for a bit. And we also took some time to look at the trail and see what maybe some potential bail op options are should we need them for whatever reason and I feel better knowing what some potential plans could be so that's good it is kind of chilly out this morning my uh, thermometer in my tent said 16 when I woke up but there's a breeze and the sun's not quite fully up yet but, uh, yeah, that breeze is chilly. So, I'm not going to complain though, because it'll be hot later. <laughs> Which is why we're on the move so early. I'm trying to beat the heat. <clears throat> anyway, oh, we got lots of climbing to do. Just poked up over that mountain. Just in time for this. <laughs> Alright, well, it's rocky, but it's not like loose shale. And there is a definitive built up path. So we're gonna go zigzag our way up there. 
Way less intimidating when you're up here than from the lake. <laughs> This is such a gorgeous spot. I love it right here. I'll just make my home right here. I don't need to go any further. <laughs> so we're in a bit of a bowl. So uh, we're not sure where the trail goes beyond right there, but we gotta climb up and over or something. I'm assuming it went over that way. That could be wrong. All that water and that beautiful waterfall. And that's all it is when we cross it. <laughs> that's funny. chipmunk I've ever seen. Oh, there he goes. A From below, you can't even tell the trail up here. <laughs> Holy smokes! We just climbed to the top of a mountain. Sort of. more climbing to do over there, but that's okay. So 
see the trail go along right there. And then up there. Two lakes, 2,156 meters. Woo! No wonder we're out of breath. see them in the camera but there's three animals right about there from back here we can't see what they are I don't know if those are grizzly bears or goats but they're pretty big Maybe they kind of look like deer but deer was... could be deer they're sheep they're mountain sheep there's two down below that are clearly sheep. Yay! No dangerous animals over there. We can keep going. <laughs> when you see animals, it's the first thing you think is, oh my god, is that something that can kill me? <laughs> so. Maybe they'll be gone by the time we get over there. Climbing to do. Once we get around here. Where's my pole? There it is. The trail goes there. But we also see it up here. Fun! You see them going? There. I can see. Like right there. Yeah. You got a of goats up there. Must have heard us coming. sheep were when we were down below. They're gone now. The time it took us to get here, they've completely disappeared.
up. That should probably be the top. And then it looks like we walk all along that ridge. Because from here I can see little trail marker sticks. So I think that's where we're going. Alright, another hundred feet. Done climbing. No, we're not there yet. Should go to the top of that. Fuck me. <laughs> Peak never ends on this one. I'm making terrible time because of all this climbing. Yikes. Good thing it's beautiful. Wow. Oh, there's a trail down there. go away over there. That's just a peak. We're going to go down here. <laughs> we are done our climbing for the day, but this is pretty sketchy, so I'm going to put the camera away. Oh, it's pretty thick and slidey. Not fun. I don't like this. This is the craziest thing we've ever gotten ourselves into. You're a bad influence. <laughs> hiking with me either right now. <laughs> this is nerve-wracking. It is? I yeah. I can't imagine snow walking. No, my god, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty sketch. better. We made it through the open scary stuff. There's something about trees that just make you feel a little more safe. Make you feel like the ground's a little more solid. Right Barb? <laughs> yeah. And whether that's a, just a, a mind trick or what, it doesn't matter. I'll take it. So We're doing good. I, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Oh yeah, see that would have skipped that whole... Fuckers. <laughs> if we had just gone down that, we would have sm missed the... Yeah, but it's... Deeper shale, so it's, it's one or the other. <laughs> Personally, I think I'd rather do what we just did.
good. Hold on to that tree. And now her hand is full of sand. It's disgusting. <laughs> Try to do a good deed and I just get punished. And like, it's like shredding the vape. It's That's just, awesome. It's so much. <laughs> it's gross. Mm. Oh, I'm glad God. it's not me. <laughs> it's like it doesn't even help anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what to do for you. Alcohol, maybe? Like the hand sanitizer? I wouldn't get off trail for the life of me. Who would want to get off trail here? <laughs> it's like nothing but shale all the way up and all the way down. The only safe spots on the trail. No, figured that was. Beautiful, gorgeous day with lots of beautiful views when that happens. Sure is gorgeous out here. Looks like we are headed straight for Cameron Lake. We're gonna have our lunch here. Pretty spot. <laughs> and we're on Park Pass. <laughs> This isn't Cameron Lake. Nope, Cameron Lake's another 4K that way. Well, it's not Cameron Lake, it's Summit Lake. This still looks like a very nice place to stop and have lunch. This is probably really pretty when the trees are so alert. We're back on the move. We stopped there at Summit Lake for lunch. We both dipped our feet, replenished our water, had a nice chat with a really nice family. Um, and now we're on the move. We are headed to Cameron Lake, which is 4K away. And from there, we have about another three kilometers to the Acamina Campground. So, it is one o'clock. So we got lots of time to do 7K. And I think there was more downhill than uphill in this section. So yay for that. <laughs> Barb sporting her umbrella. You let me know if that makes you feel any cooler. I think it does. I don't mean like I'm so cool as in like hot. Well, Heat. I was already cool, so you know. <laughs> That 
Ah, there's Cameron Lake. Quite big. So we've been discussing what our options are going to be. We have been considering not continuing forward with our full GDT itinerary. Um, I'm not feeling super comfortable or confident in my ability to do La Clouette Peak and actually enjoy it. I could probably get up and down it, but I feel like I'm going to be afraid all day long and if I can't look up and enjoy what I'm seeing, what's the point in being there? My arms are just supposed to be a little sketch too. And today, even for both of us, for different reasons, we both had, you know, those moments of, uh, this is about as much as I want to encounter as far as safety-wise. Maybe if we were in a larger group, I'd feel more com comfortable with it. Um, so, our initial plan was to continue on to Akamina because based on the map, I thought the parking lot was not right at the lake. To me, it looked like it was a hike into the lake <laughs> and that the parking lot was further back um, because that's where the red line, which is us, and the yellow line, which is the road, connected. But there's a parking lot down here. I'll show you. There's a parking lot right there. Which means to get to Akamina is a road walk. Now there's not much point in road walking half the way there if we're just going to turn around and come back to here tomorrow to try and get into Waterton. We might as well try and get into Waterton now. And then figure out what we're going to do from there. So we have decided we're going to get down to the lake, have a sit down, have a think, and decide from there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, there's even a parking lot down there. So, yeah, we're working our way down there. First sign of bear poo. Probably, what, a couple kilometers from? From According the lake? To the map, it's a kilometer 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah. So, see, this just confirms my belief that bears don't live in the wilderness. So, if you go out into the wilderness, you're going to be fine. Bears live close to where people congregate. Yep. So, we're safer out in the middle of nowhere than we are near civilization. <laughs> That's just how I feel. <laughs> so, we don't need to worry about bears and grizzlies and things while we're out in the middle of nowhere. Because that's not where they are. Except for that one on Hayden. He must have been lost. <laughs> Alright. We are in Cameron Lake. We have found a gentleman who said that he would take us to town after him and his family did a little walkabout. Um, he seemed super cool about taking us. His family seemed a little less certain when he told them. So we'll see if that offer's still available when they come back. Um, but for now, we are just sitting here on this bench because we told him that's where we wait for him. And, uh, yeah, here he's gonna... The idea is to give one of us a ride back into town so we can go grab the car and then we'll come head back up and grab the other one. And I think we've decided that I will go with the family to get the car because I have better navigational skills than Barbara and I would find my way back to pick her up better than she'd pick me up. She doesn't have faith in me. You're the one who said you didn't want to go. Yeah, I don't want to get lost. <laughs> it's not about faith. <laughs> oh, anyway. So, I think that's the plan. But, if this hitch is successful, that was the easiest hitch in the history of hitches. We just walked back from the bathroom and some guy spotted our bags and he's like, Hey, did you just get back from backpacking? And we were like, yeah, and we need to ride back to town. And he's like, cool. I can give one of you a ride. I have a half ton. I have a half ton. My son could sit in the back. <laughs> and we said, okay. <laughs> Hi. 
right, I'm getting a ride with this beautiful family. They're gonna take me to Waterton and then I will come back up and get Barb. All right, I made it back to the car and I'm gonna go pick up Barb. Hopefully I can find my way back there. <laughs> So friends, you'll never guess where we are. We are back in Waterton at our beautiful Bayshore Hotel that we love so much we decided to come back. <laughs> we have come up with a new plan, which I will tell you about once we're settled in. <laughs> 